under a benevolent sky in one of the jewels of Florida, Tampa. And Northwestern out of the Big Ten Conference. Rolling into town, taking on the SEC's Tennessee Volunteers. Welcome everyone to the Outback Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Under heat and he can run. Slides in, let's see where they mark it. He got the first down. A little pressure up front from Barnett. But not enough, a 10-yard gain. He is faster than you think. He is 6'4", 220, a little bit of a big bird to him. But when he tucks it and starts to take off, you can see those strides kind of come together, and he picks up a first down. And a 49-yard attempt. He has a long of 47 this year, and that one is no good off the right upright by Aaron Medley. And the penalty on the freshman, Jennings, cost Tennessee some points on that drive. Sure did. On this season and kick off the 2016 season the right way. Good point. And I'm sure there were some eager ears listening as Camara goes airborne. Brought down short of the... Coach, I know you like this kind of hit. The Northwestern Cats are bringing some wood here. All you gotta do is pick up a Northwestern Wildcat film. They smack you. It started in the opener when they beat Stanford, and they have hit, run to the ball throughout Pat Fitzgerald's career here at Northwestern. Fun to watch them. Camara in the backfield beside Dobbs. He's gonna throw it, though. Incomplete at the two-yard line, broken up, intended for Smith. Watkins there to make it incomplete. Yeah. Fourth down. Good job by Watkins. Remember, he's in for Van Hoos, the all-conference corner, and he wouldn't let him pick on him. A good job getting his left, his right hand in there and knocking that ball out. Jackson has done it all year for them, and he does it again. Picks up the first down, gains about one. Instead, they run it. Jackson has the first down over midfield into Tennessee territory at the 47 yard line. He got a great block rod from Austin Carr along the way to the 16 yard game. Yeah, Carr with a good block. They also pulled a lineman. Might be in four down territory for Northwestern. Thorson's going to take off, pick up the first down, and a lot more inside field goal range and out of bounds near the 20. Clayton Thorson picks up 21. Well, remember Quint mentioned a long time ago about the ends rushing too far up the field? Well, that's what happens here. I mean, Thorson just steps up, and he's got a lane. And that's because you've got Vereen 50, and you've got Barnett 9 going far up the field. Second and goal in this matchup between the Big Ten and the SEC. Jackson, nice cutback touchdown. His fifth touchdown of the season. And we talked about power versus speed. That offensive line showed you some power inside there. They washed down that entire Tennessee defensive line. Wildcats guys up front getting the job done, and the Wildcats on the scoreboard. Josh Dobbs, the aerospace engineering major, no flight here. Grounded, no liftoff. Xavier Washington making sure of that. With the sack, worked out for the Wildcats. First and 10 coming back the other way. Jackson gets to the edge, turns those shoulders north-south, and gets out to the 50-yard line, a first down, and a good lead block by Garrett Dickerson on the 17-yard game. Dobbs taking a shot downfield. Incomplete of the 12. That's Broken Watkins. up by Watkins. Yep. yep, he's had a really good ball game. Preston Tennessee. Williams right there, the intended receiver, big target at 6'4". Yeah. Tennessee's tried to pick on him, but he's been up to the task. Again, he's in for Van Hoos, and he's done a nice job over there on that corner spot. Third and four. Dormady with time and now under duress and stopped up at about the 47-yard line by Adenabo. You know, Denebo is their pass rushing specialist. He usually comes on the field on third downs or second and long situations. He added about 15 pounds from last season to try and help himself against defending the run. Rewarding and compelling 
football season at times riveting.